here, I would greatly appreciate it. I love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This will be a channeled message for the Collective of All Zodiac Signs. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, whatever it is that you're watching this. I'm so graciously grateful. So thank you for being here. This will be a channeled message for all Zodiac Signs. There is opening of the doors of things that were closed to us previously. We are leaving behind and literally closing the glass door on whatever it is that um, was holding us back that is toxic, that is making us feel like we have to play things small. Um, I say glass door because you can see all of the things that you had to leave behind, but they're pounding on the glass trying to get through to where it is that you just step through a portal, and that's not possible. Whatever is supposed to be left behind, you need to do so gracefully, willingly, and know that the universe is going to replace it with something so much better. If you're letting go of relationships, people, energy, habits, um, a job, whatever it is, there is something that's coming to replace that that is so much better. Trust and go with the flow of the universe. Don't try to fight. Don't try to grasp onto straws or pull loose ends and threads and make some sort of um, last-ditch effort to grasp onto something that is not supposed to be. Um, there is reconciliations and union of soulmates that is coming. Um, there is new love that enters the picture for my fire signs and my air signs, so be aware of that. Um, there's a lot of um, water energy here for my Cancer and for my Scorpios. Because of the full moon in Scorpio, you guys will be experiencing a big shift of letting go of something that was um, very burdensome and like the Ten of Wands type of energy or something that was like a begrudging energy. If someone is holding on to that, 111 is on my screen. The number 27 is significant, okay? If you're holding on to something like that as any sign, but especially my water signs, that is holding you back and causing you possible like physical ailments and like physical illness. Um, it would be well advised of you to release that and let it go. Do not hold on to that and release it. Let let flow what needs to flow for forgiveness or for love in the situations that you're not seeing clearly through the eyes of spiritual love, okay? There could have something really heavily to do with religion, formal religion or spiritual beliefs or like someone's moral and ethical code here because of difference of opinions, difference of belief systems, difference of um, the way you were brought up. However, it might end up being for you and how it's playing out in your situation. That is a massive factor of what's going on here in the planetary alignment of the universe as a whole for everybody as a human race. So um, given that that's the case, be willing to let things um, kind of go and let people off the hook to just know that they are not serving you. If it is not bringing you peace, it is not your place. Okay. That is the universe's way of showing you that this is not your place and you need to continue on and keep moving so that you can meet the people that are supposed to be in your soul tribe. So you can find or relationships platonically, however it plays out for you. You need to understand that that is the universe's way of telling you maybe that it's not for you. What if you're holding on to this person and this relationship when really that's not even the person that's meant for you and you're meant to have something that lines up even better than what it is that you're grasping onto because it's not meant for you. Yes, it can be hard to release. Yes, it can be hard to let go. But what if something that is coming for you is so much better and it makes so much more sense why it didn't work out with that other person once you meet your actual divine counterpart, okay? So keep that in mind with every situation that's coming at you right now. Like I said, that's energy, habits, person, place, thing, uh, job, whatever situation it is. Put that into play however it fits for you. Now let's clear this energy and let's get this channeled message for y'all. All right. Um, the letters T, the letter S, um, the letters R, E, and Q could be significant. Someone's name could be Terry. They keep repeating that or like Terry cloth, like a towel or something like that. Or someone is like very sensitive to fabric or is like very particular about the type of like fabric that they will sleep with. Or I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to get the egg face. It was not on purpose and no judgment, but it's like somebody sleeps on a bed with no sheets. <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but honey, get you a pair of sheets or something. Like, <laughs> Honey, 
That's not good energy. You're leaving old energy there that can't be washed away. Get you some sheets, okay? All right. Watch the little eardrums. Here goes the bell. Ah, I love that energy. Let's do this, baby. Amethyst is significant. Carnelian, clear quartz is significant. Aquamarine is significant. Adventurine is significant. Rotochrocyte um, is significant. The letters J, RJ, Junior could be significant. Someone could be a junior in high school or in college. The colors green and gold are significant. Someone could be a ram or a goat, like a Capricorn, or um, like an Aries energy here. We are heading into Taurus, which is the bull. That is the hierophant. That is the face that you show everyone or to the public or to the world. That has to do with marriage. That has to do with things being done in a proper, ethical, moral manner or things done by the rule book. This also has to do with marriage and relationships. There's a lot of energy of gratitude or needing to express gratitude so that you can, when you are appreciative of everything that is in your life, you bring more of the things that you want to be appreciative for, okay? Um, so waking up every morning, having a gratitude journal, or just giving thanks to the universe as soon as your eyes open, know that you've been chosen, okay? Know that you've been chosen for um, the, the the day to have blessings, to experience this miracle. If you're bringing in another birthday, my Aries babies, or happy birthday, my Taurus babies, be extremely excited that you've been chosen and be honored that you're bringing in another year to experience whatever it is the universe has planned for you because your story has not ended in other people's hats, okay? There is individuals who never even got to take their first breath, so be extremely grateful you've even gone this far, okay? Someone said, if you are able to walk, if you are able to talk, if you can hear, if you can see, if you can speak, if you're able to swallow your food, if you're able to swallow your water without a thickener, if you're able to have regular food and not have to have some sort of supplemental nutritional like supplement of some sort or whatever, just be grateful that you're not doing that. And if you are doing that, be grateful that you have the answers to keep you alive and thriving. Okay. Something to do with a new vehicle, possibly, or like a payout for a vehicle, or someone is paying off a vehicle. Someone is moving something very heavy with a vehicle, like the back of a pickup truck. Someone could be using a U-Haul right now. <laughs> this is sealed. Not them calling out me covered in moonstone everywhere. Not them calling out my stones. <laughs> the cycles of the, new, the moon, I just told you. There is a full moon in Scorpio on Wednesday, and then they said new beginnings here. I was just talking about new beginnings and walking through new doorways and leaving behind the glass door, whatever is not meant for us. It can look at us from afar. It can window shop if it like, but it's not to be with us if it does not bring us peace. Because if it doesn't bring me peace, then baby, it's not for me. Because I'm not about the butterflies and the excitement and the anxiety and you giving me a rush of cortisol anymore in any of my relationships, romantic, platonic, or any other situation. I am looking for peace. I am looking for the soft life. I am looking for something that does not require me to have a project, something that doesn't require maintenance. You got you, I got me, and we got each other together, okay? That's the magic of having a healed um, like inner child wound. Labradorite is an amazing stone. Someone could be carrying that. Fluorite, self-discipline. There is magic in self-discipline or someone believes or a group of someone believe that your self-discipline comes from magic or your level of self-discipline is almost magical. Someone said, I say, so mote it be. Manifesting like hematite, not me wearing hematite too. Not me wearing hematite too. Not that, not them calling out my stones by name, never that, right? Oh my sweet goodness. Anyways, the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, this is manifesting light. You could be dealing with a Virgo that is bringing illumination to some sort of cycle that is ending and a new one that is beginning, okay? Illumination of um, 
some sort of toxic cycle, you may be realizing that there is some sort of toxic cycle and you are having an awakening that something you learn may be manifesting light, like shining a floodlight on this situation for you to realize I've had all this self-discipline this whole time. Am I really going to go back to that toxic situation? Heck no, you're not, baby. That's right. We're moving forward. No, we are not. Um, sacred sounds. Um, I heard a dove cooing this morning. That could be significant of some sort of sacred sound. The number 100 or the number 10,000 could be significant. Um, the, the number 1,001 could be significant. Sacred sounds. Somebody is communicating to you possibly from the other side or their 5D higher self is communicating to you through lyrics of songs. This could be country music or this could be like old underground rap. For what it, those are completely opposite ends of the spectrum, or early 90s R&B could be significant. We have grounding, smoky quartz, more Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy is here. This means money. This means monetary gain and being very um, stable energy. It's a stable beginning. It's very grounded. You are very grounded. You are very tempered. You are not easily triggered or easily moved because a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy is very slow moving. Whenever they are moving, they are um, methodical about what it is that they're doing. There is some sort of storm that is possibly coming to an end now, and this cycle is closing out, and it may cause a storm because you're closing something out, and you may be denying something, or um, somebody practicing possibly energetic manipulation that would be magic could have caused a storm. It could have caused some sort of karmatic cycle that is tied to past life situations, um, is kind of what I'm feeling. This is almost like a soul or a karmic tie you've had to someone or a group of people that has been many lifetimes over that you are now breaking free of that cycle and manifesting light that this is what actually may be happening. And this is the last lifetime that manifests for you because you're done with it. Um, source has heard your prayer, heaven and hell heard what it is that you had to say and the hell that you're going through. And they said, why in Lord's name would you want to stop in hell? Because you're not wanting to do that. We're going forward. We refuse to give up the chariot energy. I will pray my way through the pain. Someone has done that. The spirit of the Holy Trinity has seen your tears and has heard you cry over. Somebody could be playing music in their car and crying because this song reminds them of someone or someone is like playing music really loud. So someone can't hear them crying um, because of whatever is happening here. There is some sort of cycle coming to a close. Somebody knows that they did you wrong. Somebody knows that they backstabbed you. There is a lot of energy of betrayal here. And now that cycle is done and you are moving on to a new beginning. You are not allowing this person or this energy in it to your new cycle. This is divine connection. I told you at the beginning of the reading, go back to my YouTube channel and go rewatch it. If you must watch my hands, re-listen re to my words. I told you that amethyst and clear quartz were significant. Here is amethyst of divine connection. This could be a divine romantic connection or a divine soul tribe connection. And I have two big shards of amethyst right here. Okay. They're calling out my stones here with amethyst. I'm wearing moonstone and hematite, and there's another bracelet right here that I use in my store, and they're for sale right here that is hematite and moonstone. They're calling out everything I have right here and on my person. Pop off. I don't mind at all. Pop off. Joy and gratitude. I told you there was an essence or a feeling of joy and being graciously grateful, having a gratitude journal. Joy and gratitude. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The yin and yang symbol. Opposites attract and you must have dark within the light, light within the dark for you to understand balance, rainbow energy. This is LGBTQ. This is neurodivergency or a rainbow child. This is having a spectrum or myriad of emotions when somebody was hard as rock before. Um, a twin flame dynamic journey could be significant or your journey with these cycles of individuals and this repetitive over and over. This is not the first rodeo you've gone through with these individuals is now coming to a close. You've decided that that is it. Possibly using some sort of like um, energetic manipulation or magic to cut karmic ties like energetically with someone to rid your energy of them. Because if you're spiritual, you can feel. Especially if you're empathic, you can feel when someone is meddling in your energy and causing chaotic energy around you, and you can feel when it's not yours. 
point blank period. Someone is trying to avert your attention or distract you from your self-discipline because they don't like that you're disciplined in money. You're disciplined in the way that you spend your money. You're disciplined in the way that you save. You're disciplined with your energy budget. You don't give it to anybody and you are spiritually cleansed or you are spiritually like um, it's bad spiritual practice to let everybody in your energy. People are like, I haven't really seen you around lately. And you're like, yeah, I know I've been, I've been planning that. That's exactly the way I've been wanting it is that you're not supposed to be seeing me around unless I want you to see me because I methodically put myself in a place because I was here to figure out information or because source told me to be here and I'm about to be out whenever they tell me that it's time deuces, I'm out. I'm only here because spirit told me to be, I'm only here to do what it is that spirit is telling me to do. I am, but the vessel that, spirit is using to orchestrate some sort of message to someone and after that i'm finished i'm done i'm out of here i don't party i don't drink i'm not smoking i'm not going out to clubs i'm not going out to big uh kickbacks i don't go out to big huge places in large crowds i'm not about that that just causes internal storms for me and there's usually storms associated with alcohol use and things where other people are getting rowdy i'm not about that energy i'm removing myself from that permanently and now i've revoked your access to me permanently because i have a brand new beginning and a brand new cycle that's coming for me and it's grounded and every time you're in my energy it seems to be like it's ungrounded it seems to be like you're bringing storms into my life and remember what i said about living a peaceful gentle calm soft life if you're not bringing that to me and you're not contributing to my peace then you gotta go let's clarify what's here thank you so very much for tuning into my channel this is a channel message for the collective of all zodiac signs if you miss anything here live on tiktok you can go back and rewatch it on my youtube my readings are timeless you can go there and watch the last five and a half years of guidance for free. And as long as you can listen to me talk. <laughs> All right, y'all, what's up? How y'all doing? How y'all doing tonight? What's up? I love you guys. Thank you guys for being here. I love you. I love you. Thank you for being here. You guys are amazing. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your continued support of the psychic ministry. And in doing so, you are literally supporting the changing of history. As I am the only psychic minister and the only psychic ministry in history. Thank you guys for being so supportive. I appreciate y'all. Let's bring some more records. Let's do something else. Let's pop off with some sort of accomplishment here. Let's see what y'all got going. Um, that song from like, I think it's Lisa Left Eye Lopez and Maze, maybe. It's, um, hey, say what, say what, say what. Yeah, hey, girl, you know what's up. That song. Gold coins are significant cornucopia energy. Being ecstatic, being happy, being over the moon, excited, thrilled with your career, with accomplishments. You are a very compassionate being and spirit has heard your prayers through all the dirtiness, through all the slander, through all the flying monkeys, through all the trickery, through all the lying and the seven of swords of stealing your energy, stealing information to use it against you. Gathering things that is not theirs, gathering your energy or your um, like monetary gain, trying to use your monetary gain so they don't have to use their own that's bad energy that's not good energy if someone is doing that to you and if they've been doing that and you're honest believe me the universe saw all of that whoa wow this is crazy this is sealed y'all okay So earlier in today's reading, we got dreams three times and we got this specific card. We got dreams. Somebody is following their dreams. Their self-discipline is after their dreams. Like I am focused solely on what is happening here and making magic and happiness in my own life. That's what I'm focused on. Blue butterflies are here again. That's communication. Canary diamonds, canary yellow, solar plexus energy. Um, it, 
experiencing happiness, experiencing a balanced gut, gut health could be significant, like gut biome could be significant. Someone's intentions are like um, coming forward to like, and your gut instinct you need to listen to or something like that. Someone could be coming to talk to you. Um, there is romantic love here, most likely because of these red roses in the corner. You're about to be very happy with this. Yeah, there is healing of a situation. Possibly someone is trying to communicate to you telepathically in your dreams about healing that is ensuing or that needs to happen in a divine connection. This could be a twin flame dynamic, a soulmate relationship, or even a platonic relationship. Someone could want to talk to you like a friend or to apologize to you. I very much feel like apology energy here to have something heal. This could be alcoholism. This could be some sort of addiction. This could be some sort of substance abuse. Or this is a really bad habit that someone has or some sort of toxic behavior they have. I told you gold coins were significant. Cornucopia energy is here. Prosperity, gold coins. You're about to be very happy because your cycle of like poverty or like being impoverished is done. You have something beautiful coming for you in business and it's about to be manifested into the light. You may have some sort of love offer and business popping off at the same time. Your life's purpose is to possibly help others or inspire others. You have inspired others. Something to do with someone's breathing, the reason that you breathe, the reason that you live. I don't know. The reason maybe someone else lives is because of you. Your inner strength. This could be a single mother here with three children or more, more blue butterflies. Your strength is positively unmatched and amazing. Whatever it is that's taken place on your journey, it's like you just still continue to try to find happiness. Regardless of who has come against you in the seven of uh, wands energy, it's like they're um got you cornered on a heel oh my gosh they're flagging me again are you serious they're flagging me again because they're telling me that what i'm talking about is not appropriate <laughs> like what what are you talking about ah tiktok oh anyway um it's like whatever your journey is that that you've gone through or whatever your connection to the divine and you're leaning into faith and prayer and leaning into spirit whenever you're struggling or sad or feeling ostracized or alone or ignored or isolation sets in, you're very grounded. You're very like, I know I'm protected. I know that the universe is always working in my favor. Protection here. This is a mother energy. Okay. This is possibly someone in the cycles of their pregnancy, like the last cycle of their pregnancy. Someone could have recently given birth or somebody is like literally planting seeds of like baby seedlings or something or baby, baby sprouts are coming like um, Brussels sprouts could be significant or like alfalfa sprouts or broccoli sprouts could be significant. Legumes could be significant. Okay. Someone could be making pinto beans, like homemade pinto beans. Honey, what? What? Where the party at? <laughs> Where the party at? I want to come. <laughs> Somebody could like the movie. <laughs> somebody could like the movie Friday because somebody said Smokey. <laughs> that could be significant. I don't know why. Um, Ice Cube, Today Was a Good Day. That song could be significant. What the heck? <laughs> um, Snoop Dogg's Gin and Juice could be significant. Faith Hill could be significant. The song Breathe. Tim McGraw and Faith Hill, um, that's how you speak to a woman. That song could be significant. That's how you speak to a woman. That's how you speak to a girl. Divine Feminine is significant here. Calling in what it is that you desire, not leaving your high priestess throne. Being high priestess, somebody is very psychically inclined here, has amazing telepathy, and you possibly may receive visions or practice tarot. Somebody could have tried to get tarot readings on you or pull cards on you for a negative reason, and they're about to find out that was probably a poor choice. Don't pull cards on someone in a, in a negative undertone. If you're doing it for things that are negative or you're trying to like, or, oh boy. Oh, lordy. Uh, someone could have tried to create like a war jar for you or something. Let me tell you this. 
Let me tell you. I would not advise that because you are asking spirit to do bidding on your behalf that is lower vibrational frequency wise and they're going to want you to pay up and you don't get to pick how you pay up they pick how you pay up and what you're asking your ancestors to do or the vibrational frequency of what kind of entities you're asking to do the bidding of your work I would be very mindful about what it is that you're doing especially if you don't know anything about conjuring magic war jars like if you're a newbie just going and pulling cards on people thinking that you know what you're doing i would seriously make sure that you understand what it is that you are putting out into the universe energetically because that is not a joke that is not something that you take lightly it's not something that you should be doing lightly it's not something that you should um oh yeah i'm mad at this person or at this girl or even if there is somebody that is like um with the romantic partner that you want to be with, or there's a group of people that are jealous of you or something, you just let that play out and let the universe take care of your business because I would not be trying to sway that in any sort of negative way. You can protect yourself. You can do, you know, um, you can pray. You can ask for protection from archangels. You can use shielding. You can like return to cinder the energy that you can do that. But I would not start asking the universe to bid on your behalf for anything that is negative because what's going to answer probably is not going to be very nice. I'm just saying. You do what you want to do. I'm not your boss. I don't rule nothing. And, hey, I don't know everything. So, you know, I'm – who am I, right? This is sealed. So we pulled this card earlier. This is the goddess of all that flows. This is water energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. She's standing in front of like a big, huge wave of the ocean. I am an ocean of creative energy. I give birth to what exists within me. I told you giving birth was significant, and we have a pregnant female figure here. Okay. Someone could wear locks in their hair or have extensions. Um, Our Lady of the Interior Life, this has something to do with formal religion. Um, somebody could write with like a quill or um, white feathers are significant. Doves, I told you I heard a dove earlier today that was cooing this morning. Um, and we were talking very heavily about doves in my very first channel read of, the, of this AM, okay? That's on Instagram and it's on my YouTube if you want to go watch it. The doves are here as a sign of peace or formal religion. This is love or a significant sign from a crossed over loved one or ancestors that they are literally watching over you in protection or that you need to search for inner peace, like you need to find inner peace. The joy permeated mother again with mother energy. This is queen of cups energy, okay? Um, the lotus flower or like um, a tiger lily could be significant. I am my own guru. I know the self that never changes. This is like you being unshaken with whatever somebody is telling you because you know exactly who you are. No one can shake you if you know who you are and you're living in your authenticity and you're living in your genuine energy. No one can take that from you and no one can make you do something that you don't want to do because you're so solid in you. You're like, well, if I have to go do this alone, or I got to stand alone while all you clowns go do that, then you go do that. And I'm going to walk this way because I said no. The um, the Lady of Hermits, I told you you could be dealing with a Virgo because of the manifesting light and someone bringing light to a situation, illuminating all sides of a situation. This is Our Lady of the Hermits. You could be in hermit mode. Like you're, like I said, I'm cool, chilling at home, doing whatever I need to do, um, evaluating the cycles of my life. I'm a homebody. I'm kind of journaling or reading my books or trying to spiritually grow. I'm meditating. I'm doing something to allow my energy to expand in a positive manner so I can ascend. This is very much that energy. This is high priestess energy. This is like owning your power and not letting anybody take you out of that. Like if I'm at home alone doing my own thing, it's going to be really hard for you to even access me because I'm not going out anywhere. I'm not meeting you at parties. I'm not meeting you to go do things like out and about. I like if I need 
um, like supplies or whatever, I'm going to the store and coming back. Like I'm not out hanging out around everybody and you don't see me around everybody because I'm not about that. If it's not about my money or my spiritual growth, I'm not about it. Um, the goddess have never not broken. Everything happens for my liberation. I choose to become only more loved. I told you uh, forgiveness for making situations better so you can make decisions out of love, out of spiritual love, out of coming from the place of divine light and love, embodying divine love. The saint of spoken words, somebody writing down or somebody is like um, uh, like a, a speaker for people, like a motivational speaker, or you speak to a large group of people at work, or you have a lot of people that are following your guidance at work or something like that. Every word I say becomes a prayer. Influence is like, um, how do I say this? Influence is like wildfire. It spreads. And if it's good influence and it's solid, then it spreads like wildfire. Okay. There is prayer here. Every word I say becomes a prayer. I am the author of my own story. Somebody could blog. Somebody could blog. Somebody could be writing a book. Okay. Um, digital books could be significant. Okay. Audible could be significant. Medusa, Pegasus, Athena, Hercules, Zeus, Hades could be significant, Persephone could be significant, Lilith, Hecate could be significant. Um, Mother Mary or Guadalupe, like somebody could have like literally like a shrine or a figurine of like Guadalupe. Red roses are significant. They said red roses earlier with pink roses and they pulled white roses. The red and pink roses indicate romantic love. And mind you, on this happiness card, you guys pulled red roses there in the corner. There's some sort of communication that is possibly romantic from a like secret admirer that you're getting that heals the situation or that makes you very happy and takes you out of a toxic cycle of someone that did not appreciate you. Somebody could have been very violent or abusive, like mentally, emotionally, or verbally to you. Carnelian for that helps heal abuse. You're accepting the situation for what is acceptance, indigenous ties. Um, dream catchers are significant. Four and one, five pine trees or shooting stars could be significant. That is sealed. They wanted to one and done. Let's see what the oracles have for you. Someone said Our Lady of Fatima or um, Kali Ma could be significant. Mother Cabrini could be significant. St. Peter, St. Paul, like John uh, 4.13 could be significant. Moses, Noah. Someone could have like Noah's Ark in their child's room or like their their theme to like, I almost said their theory, their theme to their baby shower was like Noah's Ark or they have like a baby blanket with Noah's Ark on it or like little animals. Winnie the Pooh could be significant. I love Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, cuddly little snuggie stuffed with fluffy Winnie the Pooh. Someone could really like Eeyore or Piglet. Someone showed me the owl from um, Winnie the Pooh and then the owl from like Tootsie Pops. Like how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Woohoo! One, two, three. <laughs> um, that commercial could be significant or somebody could eat like Tootsie Pops. The letter L could be significant. The letter E, the letter G, N, or I could be significant. Someone's name could be Dimitri, Dominic, Darren, Devin. Devon, Devony, Divinity, Darius. Someone said, someone said, call me La Noche. <laughs> that could be significant. <laughs> yeah, they got a sense of humor tonight. They got a sense of humor. I love to laugh. Comedy, like comedy movies could be significant.
Somebody could be healing from some sort of surgical procedure or something to do with the left knee. Someone said meniscus, Achilles tendon, something to do with the sacrum, something to do with spinal fluid or a spinal nerve. Blueberries or raspberries could be significant. Planting or being surrounded by plants right now is a good idea. Taurus energy. Mother's Day could be significant for someone. Like I know for all mothers, but I mean like maybe that's someone's birthday too, or it's really significant about some sort of like maybe you go all out for that celebration or something like that. I told you spend time around plants. She's surrounded by roses outdoors. This is sealed. Clairvoyance. Someone sees and hears. Clairvoyance means that you see, but they're talking about being clairaudient as well. Okay. I told you earlier that someone is very psychically inclined and could have visions. That's clairvoyance. They're uh, confirming. Archangel Raziel, I am here helping you with your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. I told you operating in divine, like spiritual love and being the love of spirit. And it literally says so you can see clearly with heavenly love. I can't make that up. Go back and rewatch it. I don't even mind. That's crazy. Rainbow energy, the chakra systems. Moon cycles. You got moon cycles again. We're about to have a full moon. Okay. More doves came up. Moon cycles are significant. Archangel Haniel, it's like closing out some sort of cycle with this full moon, bringing peace. That my holy trinity, one, two, three, holy trinity or the holy spirit. This it signifies possibly formal religion or bringing peace in threes. Like having three things happen to you at once, like three good things, and they just keep coming in threes. Um, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon those cycles, especially my females, y'all. And that has to do with magic. If you do perform magic or you do perform affirmations or you're trying to energetically manipulate for the positive, um, moon cycles are very significant, especially to females, on how it is that they operate and their energy and the cycles of their body. Men operate by the power of the sun. That is the masculine energy. The feminine energy is the moon. We digest food differently. We use energy differently. We harness energy differently. We are different than men. And this society is designed to cater to masculine energy and to keep females in their masculine energy. Don't fall into that and listen to your body. Spread your wings and fly, someone said. Archangel Ariel, do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. Outdoors, someone could be hiking or gardening. Someone could have a water fountain in their backyard or in their front yard. Um, someone could have like um, a statue of like Athena or like Italian or Greek goddesses or something in the front of their yard. Um, Archangel Jothiel, go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Okay. Someone could like hum or sing while they're gardening because I heard the song from, um, from Snow White. Uh, is it? Yeah. Whistle while you were do, 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 do. like that song. Um, crystal clear intention. Somebody is going to bring you clarity or the universe is literally like, um, how do I explain this? The universe is literally bringing you a situation that makes it crystal clear what someone's intentions are or what cycles need to be um, left alone or what cycles need to be closed or what cycle is about to begin for you. And that's bringing happiness either way. Leo energy is significant. Like your strength is bringing you a brand new happy beginning. Archangel Michael, someone's name could start with an M, Michaela, or Mike. Mikey Michael is significant. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. And this is exactly what you've been doing with your self-discipline. And that's why you have so many good things coming for you.
Okay. You're about to get crystal clear on why you were chose to do something on your journey. Thank you so very much for being here. I appreciate you. This is a channel message for the collective of all zodiac signs. If this is hitting home for you, you can check my schedule for a video chat and inquire about my schedule at 720-675-7551. You can do a text channeled check-in, 720-675-7551. You can also have your energy pulled live here in chat if you'd like. Please flag down one of my moderators if you'd like to have that done. And that's $20 to my PayPal. Okay. Ooh, that's okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah, this is sealed. That's crazy. I told you guys someone could be working with Carnelian to clear away the cycles of abuse, like mentally emotionally or like something like that um somebody could have like verbally been abusing you you pulled carnelian self-trust relationship rejuvenation powers of concentration and healing from abuse they just said focus like with unwavering faith on what it is that you want to see manifest the color of orange red like uh, burnt orange those colors are very uh, prominent right now because of the sacral and root chakra opening that's happening. Okay. Hold on, now I'm frozen over here. Is it still moving? No, I can't do it. <laughs> okay, we have lapis lazuli, that's throat chakra communication. Prophetic dreams, we started out with dreams. That was significant earlier in the reading today. Releasing anger, forgiveness, and letting go of the cycle of anger and not letting it repeat. Serenity and grace. Blue is significant. We have citrine. This is the stone of happiness. This is the entrepreneur stone for money. Wealth, enhanced career prospects, self-esteem, and manifestation. We have fluorite. Personal protection, getting organized, aura cloak, and cooperation. Blue kyanite, we pulled this earlier today. Connecting with animals. I told you somebody is really telepathic or has visions. This is about telepathic abilities. Finding your true path and finding clarity. Azurite, divine guidance, stillness, new connections, and astral travel. That's also astral traveling is in your dreams. Labradorite, shamanic journey, brave, magical powers, and higher awareness. We pulled magic. Turquoise is the master healer. Leadership qualities, clear communication, prosperity, and success, and you literally pulled prosperity. Oh, I got you, babe. Hold on. Okay, let me finish the stones and I'll get it pulled for you, babe. I'm sorry I didn't see you. Hold on. Let me finish these and I will get your individual energy pulled. I got you. Okay, blue topaz, finding a spiritual ally, higher wisdom, abundance, and forgiveness. Okay, we have more water energy here. Um, emotions, subconscious thought, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Emotional, intuition, psychic powers, healing, and Pisces is significant. Sapphire is the stone of um, September's birthstone. So you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra. Channeled wisdom, psychic ability, self-expression, and destiny. Someone's name literally could be destiny. Amethyst, I told you, was significant earlier, and now this will be the second time you pulled Amethyst, and I have Amethyst sitting right here. Actually, I actually have two pieces of it. Okay? So there is Divine Connection. Okay? There is Spiritual Insight, Creativity, Psychic Protection, and Courage. We have Ruby. That's July's birthstone. Increased abundance, passion, lucid dreaming, light of the soul. This is also possibly significant for someone's name. 
Earth energy, which you have kind of a lot here, Taurus, Virgo, uh, Capricorn energy. We are entering into Taurus, which is Earth energy. Abundance, fertility, harvesting, logic. And the acorn there symbolizes generational wealth. And they're referencing that I have acorns on my altar. Okay. All right. We have an individual energy pool here. Okay. So um, if you guys would like to partake in that and you would like your individual energy pool, you can send $20 to my PayPal, Stephanie Bobo 111 and I will pull your energy live here in chat. Let's get your energy pulled for you, babe. Let's see what's going on. Uh, we have a lot of movement and money in the next, like, 62 days for you. So by the um, by before the end of June, before July starts, you have some sort of beautiful energy that's coming in to give you kind of like a breath of fresh air or being able to take a deep breath oh, like that, like because you've been breathing – like that because you're panicking or there's been something that you've been extremely worried about. There's a lot of stress that is literally going to be washed away. Like let's say somebody that's an adult is getting baptized. It's washing away all of their stress. Again, something about formal religion because today has been a lot about like washing away sins, being a sinner, not being a sinner, like all of those things. Someone literally said being baptized to wash away my sins or bad deeds. I don't believe in that. But if that's something that you believe you need to do, I do believe, however, that water is cleansing. But I don't think you need to be baptized in a specific religion to do that, okay? So if that's something you resonate with, take it. But there is a lot of cleansing of energy. Wow, babe, you pulled some awesome cards here. This is sealed. You pulled the world. This is like the top of all the cards that you could pull besides the wheel, like literally. So this is significant for you having the world at your fingertips, the world in your hands, earth, energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, monetary gain, monetary. Thank you so much for your gifts. I love you for your support. Thank you. Um, uh, monetary gain, things that you can touch and tangible in the 3D that are coming for you. Um, this could be um, moving to a bigger house or this could be um, like a brand new vehicle or paying off a vehicle that is something you don't have to worry about. And that's an extra three to four hundred dollars in your pocket every month. Invest that in something that is smart investments, life insurance, something that yields high dividends for your money and doesn't just sit and make one or two percent in a bank account. A brilliant success, the freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete. This is definitely in sync with this cycle. I told you before Cancerian energy or before July, which would be Cancer energy, you are... Um, Coming into some sort of successful financial endeavor and seems to be romantic as well. This says with the cycles of the moon, whatever it is that you need to release in order to forgive and move on, you need to do that with this full moon on Wednesday. Let it go. Let it flow and let whatever is supposed to be coming to you enter your life now because you're blocking some sort of blessing and it keeps knocking on your door. It's texting you on the phone. Someone really cares for you or someone really loves you and wants to see you do well. Okay. We have 10 of summer. This is romantic energy. What did I say? Your ships are literally entering the harbor, but this is a butterfly ship. This is transformative. Like this is a transformative relationship. It literally makes you feel on top of the world. You have 21, 2 and 1, 3. Um, the 1st through the 2nd or the 21st of July could be significant. October 21st could be significant or October of 2021 is significant. This includes children. This has something to do with children. Stringed instruments are significant. We also have sacred sound. We were talking about music or specific songs that are speaking to you, like lyrics on the radio to a specific song, or someone that is crossed over is trying to communicate to you through music. An emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely with people that you can trust. It takes a village, someone said. Not doing things on your own, possibly not being bullheaded anymore or seeing something clearly for what it actually is, manifesting light into a situation. Someone is desiring your return or there is a return of a union of a romantic relationship. This is also at the same time. It's like your romantic relationship and money are gaining momentum at the same time. You have blessings of the world and the wheel turning significantly for you um, in a positive manner for ascension and transmutation. Congratulations to you. Let's give you a applaud for that because that's amazing. Spirit is excited for you, as am I. Thank you so very much for supporting the Psychic Ministry. I love you dearly. Thank you so much for being here in my chat room. I'm so appreciative of you always. Thank you. I love you, and I hope that that helps you. Okay, let's pull the rooms here and see what else is here for the collective. 
that again was a channeled message for someone specific that was an individual channeled message. All right, let's see what rooms have for you. This is sealed. We have Anschutz Estuary, the mouth. The Matrix is trying to shut me down, y'all. They're trying to shut off my computer right now. The whole screen glitched, shut off YouTube, and then brought it back onto my screen. That has happened, I don't know how many times today, and it took me forever to get this camera running because it refused to upload and it refused to boot itself up. So there is some sort of glitch and some sort of matrix resistance that's trying to stop this message that at this being a thorn, there is as in my side, and I will not stop talking because my communication and my guidance and my leadership needs to get to whoever is supposed to hear this. So listen up and listen better because obviously I'm on to something or else they wouldn't be trying to stop me now. Reaction, defense, conflict, catharsis, regeneration. Um, Isa, ice, like someone said ice, ice, baby. Someone could like vanilla ice um, or like somebody likes to chew ice. Somebody could have like an iron deficiency or pica or something or whatever that's called. Um, clarity or someone's ice machine could have broken. Somebody says the ice cream machine at McDonald's is always broke. <laughs> um, clarity, stasis, challenge, introspection, watching, and waiting. Someone could like uh, Sonic, like the restaurant. Um, Degas, dawn, awakening, certainty, illumination, completion, and hope. Torch, carrying the torch, being um, a leader, illumination, symbolizes vision, creativity, inspiration, improvement, and vitality. Okay. Let's see what else is here. Let's see. Hold on. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you all. This is a channel message for the collective of all zodiac signs. If this is hitting home for you, you can inquire about my schedule at 720-675-7551. You can do a check text channel checking at that same number. Or you can have your energy pulled live here in chat. Mankind, thank you for the follow. Thank you so much for the shares. Thank you guys for the gifts. Haitian Queen, thank you for the follow. Thank you guys for all of your gifts. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for your support. Thank you so much. I'm so graciously grateful. Thank you. Hello. Thank you for the shares, y'all. Thank you for the gifts. I'm good, babe. How are you? I hope you guys are well. Thank you, Adam, for the share. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you guys so much for sharing my content. Thank you. Take that for the follow. Thank you, babe, for your support. I hope that that channeled message helped you and guided you to somewhere positive, And I left you in a better energy than whenever I found you. Thank you, Alfresco, for the follow. I said that and you said somebody, she's la <laughs> He's laughing at me. She's like, I just sent money for one. You're not paying attention. <laughs> no, I love you. Thank you so much for your synchronicities. That's hilarious. <laughs> I love that. Okay. You guys are funny. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Okay. Let's see what kind of energy we got with these cards. Y'all, this shirt, though, it's so stiff. It's like, get down, girl. <laughs> get down, girl. Somebody could like, um, like the funk era of music. Someone said, get the funk. Out of my face. Get the funk out of my face. 
someone say, get down on it. Do -do 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 -do. Get down on it. Or someone singing, she's a brick house. Oh, mighty, mighty. This is silk. So we have divine masculine energy that manifested itself again in our reading through the stag. This was in our reading um, that I did earlier today, Trust and Thrive. Divine masculine is entering the reading here as a divine counterpart. Air guardian, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy of communication. Shift your perception or a shift in perception is significant because of some sort of communication you're going to receive about you being a warrior. This is um, the God of War. This is Aries energy. We are leaving that energy and heading into Taurus. Be fearless and stand strong, standing up for what you believe in and you always have. It's like I have self-discipline like nobody's business and I don't need you to like me. I don't need you to, even if it stings, even if it hurts, I don't need you to like me. I don't need you to coddle me. I don't need you to like tell me it's going to be okay or to baby me. I need you to be honest with me. And if you're not honest, I'm going to smell it. And I'm going to be able to pull out all of the fakeness or all of the sugar coating that you're doing. And I'm going to take it as something that is not genuine. And it might cause a problem with communication between you and I, especially if you're dealing with a divine feminine, because if you are dealing with a high priestess divine feminine and you're trying to come at her as a romantic partner, male or female, she will chew you up and spit you out unrecognizable when she's done with you because she is going to smell your deceit, your lies, and hear the bullshit before it even comes out of your mouth. And she can smell the deceit on your energy before she you even enter the room. She already knows before she shows up. And if she's sitting there listening to you and pretending like she's believing you, she's just allowing you to see how far you'll go before you'll and how far you'll go to make the lie believable when she already knows the truth. Guaranteed that if she's asking you a question, she already knew the truth. Okay? I can promise you that. You don't stand a chance if you're not authentic and genuine. There, It won't work. A divine feminine high priestess who is in her power and recognizes how to utilize and transmute negative energy? I wouldn't try it. Just saying. And usually divine priestess, high feminine, like high priestess, divine feminine are okay with being alone because they'd rather be alone than try to even entertain something that's not genuine or authentic. Nope. And if you're not willing to give me queen treatment, I'm not going to chase you. You are in, that means you're in your feminine energy and I don't do that. I'm looking for divine masculine energy. And if you're not bringing that, I'm not even trying to entertain that at all. Sorry, not sorry. Keep it moving, boo, to the next one that you could pull with that because your lack of communication, communication is key. If you're not communicating or you're trying to, like, use that as a tactic to, like, create some sort of trauma bond or something, it's not going to work because I already see what you're doing. You're showing me who you are, and you're trying to trigger something that's unhealthy, and I won't entertain that. So go try that with a lower vibrational frequency female because it ain't me. No shade to her, but it ain't going to be me. Just saying. You come in here with that clown energy, you better get treated like the whole damn circus because mm -mm. nope. Nope. This is sealed. You could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn masculine. This is the King of Pentacles. You have a brand new beginning in money. Somebody could possibly be offering you money they owe you. This could be an inheritance. This could be a payoff, a payout. This could be something that came from something you sold. This could be business that you're doing. Abundance, opportunity, and resources. You're learning something. Ugh, they're trying to shut me down for what I'm talking about. Hold on, y'all. Sorry, guys. 
this is something that you're learning or that you just recently learned and you're going in as kind of like a newbie or something like that and you end up being very successful a very wealthy person or a wealthy man wants to help you out someone who is very established prosperous generous and successful generosity um charity could be significant somebody is very charitable or you are very charitable with your time and don't expect anything back and someone has been watching you possibly a secret admirer because you have the ten of cups here this is like ultimate wish fulfillment in happiness, like with romance and like emotionally fulfilled. And you have happiness here with red roses that stands for a romantic gesture or interest, family, love and blessings. There is loyalty here. This could involve children. You could be a really good mother because there's strength here. Someone believes that you're super strong um, because there's three cubs here. And this is like, divine feminine in her motherly energy like um queen of cups queen of water you could be dealing with a water and an earth sign there could be differing opinions here between a water and an earth sign or a fire and a water sign or a water sign and an air sign There could be lack of communication between these people or between you and another person. It's like someone is purposely keeping the communication short or not at all. Or someone thought that maybe not talking to you was going to solve the problem. Psych! No! <laughs> okay, I'm going to forget about it and I'm just going to let you do your thing because obviously if you're not wanting to communicate, if you really cared about it, you would... Care, you would care enough to communicate and give clear communication because when somebody wants something, believe me, they're going to make it very clear. And if they want it bad enough, they're going to go after it. And if not, then you need to know that that's just not where you're aligned and there's something better for you and leave it. Do not chase. You attract. There's the devil that wanted to pop out. This is sealed. Somebody is possibly distracted by all the shiny things or there's too many choices involved and you're walking away. Somebody got distracted by all the things that are shiny and all that glitters is not gold. And you're like, that's fine. You go after all those shiny, pretty, glittery cups and all of that. I told you that there was like a Roman, Italian or like Greek statue in front of someone's home, like Athena or something like that. There's a statue head right there. And then there's like the little like crown that they wear on their head in like Greek mythology. There and then there's like a gargoyle. Gargoyle, the cartoon from like the 90s could be significant. There is something that's like um, veiled here. And then there's a snake as well. That could be significant. And then there's like a castle. Someone had too many choices of like all these things and made you feel like you were an option or something. And you walked away and took away their option. You're like, no, I'm not going to be a part of that. You want to go and shop around for different romantic partners or whatever it is that you're giving your attention to. You go ahead and do that because I will not be ignored. I will not be breadcrumbed. I will not be like taken advantage of. You go that way and I'm good. Um, we have the King of Pentacles. You got the King of Pentacles twice. You got the King of Pentacles to confirm the King of Pentacles. Okay. So this is man over 25, dark eyes, dark hair, business, arrogance, and powerful. Someone's ego got in the way because they were looking at so many different options of all these girls or men that wanted them. And they're like, oh, look at all this cool stuff. I haven't had anybody do this for me before. Or I've never been in this energy before where everybody's looking at me or whatever. And you walked away and you were the real one. And now they may be kicking themselves in the ass because of what they were doing because they gave you this energy of the Ten of Swords. They allowed people to slander you or stab you in the back. Death or ending of a situation or a relationship. They ended a relationship with you or forced you, even if you didn't want to, to walk away for your self-worth. And you chose your self-worth because you refused to allow this energy to thrive. You refused to be a part of this energy. The King of Cups could be significant, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or someone who is expressing their emotions. We pulled the King of Cups earlier in today's reading. Um, the Moon could be significant. Somebody is hiding their emotions or is hiding something to do with money 
or hiding that they had options or something like that. And they took that um, too far. And now they're realizing that that probably was a poor choice. Um, there is someone who is very emotional, very kind, very gentle that wants your attention. And you could be going with this king of cups instead of this king of pentacles because of their arrogance and because of their ego. Their ego got into the way of where you were like, that's fine. Go have all of your choices. Go look at all of the sparkly things because you're about to figure out that that gold chain or those gold cups are actually just plated and it's just brass under there. It's silver and it's going to tarnish. It's going to turn your neck green. I don't want your offer anymore. No, thank you. The four of cups denying an offer. You ended the relationship. You took it too far. You took it way out of proportion of where it should have been. And you tried to hide vital information about money, about a relationship, about people, about resources, about something you should have been honest with me about. And now you want to offer me the two of cups. I'm not interested. No, thank you. You may be having a king of cups coming to offer you the king of water, this ten of cups, emotional fulfillment, and a two of cups. Someone is offering you their cup. They are offering you their emotions. This could be a Leo. This could be a Scorpio. Um, the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Ten of Pentacles, which is ultimate fulfillment in money. Um, after something ended, you possibly could have walked away from something and you brought um, in a whole bunch of money for your business or things started going really well for you. Uh, now you have someone wanting to offer you their cup. Um, they want the suffering and the pain to be over with and they want the Ten of Cups with you. You are their ultimate wish fulfillment. All of these people that stabbed you in the back, you better believe that their names are engraved on these swords. And the universe heard your prayers about everyone that was entered and stabbed you and why it hurt so bad and why they had to do that. Well, the universe is about to take these swords and those are going to go projectile back to whoever it belongs to. And your guardian angels are taking this big, huge bucket full of all the swords that are in your back, pulling them out and bringing them to the divine. And the divine is going to decide what to do with that. And now there is no, there is no stopping it. And they don't know when that will be coming. Someone denied you or you tried to offer your genuine like kindness or whatever. And they're like, nope, I don't want that. I'd rather stab you in the back or be dishonest and walk away from you. And they tried to isolate you. They tried to hurt you. They tried to manipulate the situation or hide things from you. Twin flame dynamic. Wolves are significant. Alpha minded thinking, a divine connection, a divine pair, because we have divine connection here. This is a romantic partner that was supposed to either be a protective figure for a chosen one or whoever is coming in now is about to be this person's twin flame or their soulmate. And you have the Ten of Cups with this person. You have a romantic offer of someone giving you wholeheartedly their cup. They're wanting to express their emotions to you and want to give you all the happiness in the world. And you're going to realize all that bread coming bullshit someone else was doing with this. I got all these choices. Well, you are someone's number one choice and their only choice. You are the only person that they see and you are their ten of cups. And this is about to make you so happy. This is beautiful energy. And you have money that comes with it because you have some sort of payoff that is supposed to be rightfully yours through either an inheritance. Someone owes you money. This is through business. This is through personal. This could be some sort of alimony. Okay. Yeah. Wow. There's like, I already shuffled these and did a whole nother reading even after that. And this is still popping out the same card as earlier. Someone is very devoted to you. Someone may get a lot of public attention or publicity. They may be in the public eye. Having patience, you have patience. Your patience has put someone else in restlessness because they thought their criticism would leave you in restlessness. And you're patient. You're like, nope, you can go ahead and criticize me all you'd like. 
go ahead and slander me. Go ahead and talk bad about me. Go ahead and do whatever it is that you feel you need to do because I have patience and trust in the universe that they heard my prayers. They counted my tears. And now I'm rising as the Phoenix because my tears watered the ashes. And that's exactly what I will do is continue to thrive. Divine protection. Tigers could be significant. Tigress, someone said. Devotion of a divine masculine and divine feminine and a divine counterpart, a divine connection. Someone is enthusiastically bringing you the two of cups. Someone's health could be uh, could be significant, like someone's very enthusiastic about their health improving. Yeah, so someone was trying to criticize you and cause you reckless behavior that brought you to be uneasy like restlessness energy okay they publicly possibly did this and tried to humiliate you or make you look like a fool because they were trying to control you with something they were trying to control your world they were trying to stand on you they were trying to keep their thumb on you and not let you go okay right they were even trying to keep control of your health like something to like make you sick make you exhausted Make you this tin of swords energy where you can't even get up. But you got up with all those swords in your back because you knew you were divinely protected. And if you could just get up time number 11, you would be successful and their control would end eventually. And now they want to negotiate because they don't have control. You got up anyway. Enthusiastically so even. Now they lost control and now they have to negotiate because it's almost like this person needs information you have or like needs a signature from you or needs like um, some sort of agreement from you or needs you to go to bat for them with some sort of paperwork. And you're like, mm, I don't really know about that. They want you to be charitable and you're po you're possibly passing on the offer that they're giving you. You're not going to save them. 11, 11. You have exaltation here. This is cornucopia energy and you pulled prosperity. This is happiness with your finances. This is a brand new cycle that's starting for you that you're being given something very charitable because of your good deeds. 111 is significant and you're about to be very, very happy. Divine protection is here for you. Somebody is a really good mother here. Taking care of your children really well and putting them first. Somebody is very restless because they lost control and you will not negotiate with them and you walked away from them. And you don't want their offer now. You could have been begging someone to please just don't leave, don't go, something like that. Please just give me your two of cups. Please be devoted to me and stop looking at other choices. And they weren't. This could have something to do with social media. This could have something to do with in-laws. You don't choose the family you came from over the family that you created. Point blank, period, mic drop. That's it. Your devotion needs to be to the family you created. Somebody let money come in between that. Or let other people's opinion and control over what they were thinking or formal religion or ideas or some sort, some sort of idea take over. And that's not right. The universe is about to rectify the situation and bring into balance like karmic justice. You're getting positive karma for this because you were honest, you were genuine, you were pure. Someone sees that you are pure. Someone is offering you something because you have been honest and because of your character. Like even when these people were like seven of swords in you, which is stealing from you or lying to you, deceptive, being deceitful, you're still like honest and you're still like, or someone could have been in bad health and you still helped them even though they were not good to you. Someone sees the weight of your character and they're like, this is someone who is genuine. This is a ride or die. Low riders could be significant. You have a, de a decision that's coming for you, like multiple decisions in money and in love, possibly multiple suitors. Twin flame dynamic is significant. 
somebody could be reaching out to you to communicate to you, to have a conversation, like a very deep conversation. They want you to let something go. They want you to forgive them or they want you to release something. Yeah, what the heck? No way. This is sealed. I told you somebody is reaching out to you. The reach out card fell out. Spirit could be reaching out to you in your dreams or someone is physically reaching out to you because spirit is divinely guiding them to do this. They're like, if you don't, it's not going to be good. You need to reach out to them and let them know about this contract that you signed on their behalf or that they signed without knowing. Somebody, Something about signatures, you could have signed something and not even known what it was. You have a brand new beginning. You have cycles and then you have new beginning here and you have moon cycles fire energy aries leo sagittarius the wolf moon i told you wolf lobos or alpha minded thinking was significant you have the blood moon letting go somebody could have done like done you dirty or did bad things whenever you were pregnant you could have something wrong with your heart or blood pressure blood sugar could be significant Self-healing, healing your heart chakra. The hair moon we pulled earlier, propagating energy 14. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That has to do with your money. Um, there's restlessness that we pulled, and then they pulled restlessness. Somebody's drinking because they were restless. Somebody has bad habits, or somebody is nervous that their bad habits with the drinking or the, the dependency on alcohol or substance is going to cause a problem. Or that you won't accept their offer because they're restless and they are like too all over the place. They want to party and mm -hmm. aligning the wolf moon three alignment with spirit alignment to a brand new beginning. You're propagating energy and now that's going to pay off for you and you're about to receive the fruits of your labor. 22 uh, vitality, the barley moon. Twin flame dynamic, 11, 11, 11 times 2, 22, 22, 22. The blood moon, 28, karma. I told you positive karma is coming to you. Your ancestors have been watching what you're doing. And as long as you're staying in high vibrational frequency and transmuting things for ascension in a positive manner, you have good things coming to you. You create personal alchemy, 12. The 3rd through the 9th of May could be significant. The wolf, again, the wolf moon, protection. Divine masculine, divine feminine. You got protection again. 15, guidance, somebody could be smoke cleansing, pine or lavender could be significant, cinnamon could be significant. The ice moon, purification. This is purification of energy, purification of restless energy. Someone is ridding themselves of that and reaching out to you, trying to propagate a brand new beginning with you. Because they want the ten of cups. They want to align with you and they want a brand new beginning. This is beautiful energy. I hope that this resonates for you. And if it does, come and see me for your own personalized channeled message. 720-675-7551. This has been a channeled message for the collective of all zodiac signs. Thank you all who um, support the psychic ministry and in doing so, the changing of history. Thank you so very much. You guys are beautiful with light, love, and hugs. I hope you enjoy the rest of this soulful Sunday. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all.